Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 44th video in uh, PyQt5 GUI application development. Uh, in the previous video we have learned that how we can create a font combo box in PyQt5. Uh, in this video we are going to talk about creating QList widget in PyQt5. So before uh, starting our main topic, if you're interested in learning Python from B6 up to advance, uh, you can download the Learn Python 3 application and uh, there are different topics from basics up to Python MySQL database, SQLite database and complete uh, on Python object oriented programming. So I have added uh, the link to the video description and you can download. So uh, I have created a new Python file and uh, I'm going to just copy uh, my uh, main window codes and uh, so let me just uh, copy this. So basically, uh, uh, I want to just uh, make two videos on QList widget. In this video, we are going to just learn about basics of uh, creating a QList widget in PyQt5. And in, in the next video, I will show you that how you can implement a simple project, not complex, but a simple project in QList widget. So now I have copied uh, my window codes. So let me just change the title to QList widget. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to change this to Q dialog and make it Q dialog. Q dialog. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, if I run this, you'll see that I have a window. Okay. Now this is our window with title. Uh, so. Let me uh, import first. I need a QV box layout. So, QV box layout. Uh, I need a Q list widget. Uh, also, I need a Q label. Okay, now uh, in this section, let me just create first my uh, V box. So, V box, QV box layout. And now I want to create a list widget object. So self dot list uh, q list widget. And now I have created my uh, list. Uh, now I want to add some items to my list. Lists. So self dot list dot insert item. So insert item. So in the zero index I want to add Python so self dot list dot insert item and in the first I want to add uh, Java let me just copy add this okay in the second I want to add C++ So I'm going to add some programming language in here, uh, C sharp, and uh, Ruby. Okay, now the last one that I want to add, uh, what programming language? Uh, so Kotlin, okay. Kotlin the language that is used for Android development. Okay, now uh, we have created our uh, this uh, uh, list widget and we have added items. Now we need to add this to our VBox layout. So add widget, uh, I want to add my list. So sol.list, okay. And uh, let me just run this. So I don't. Oh, I think I should add a Q widget in here. So let me just check this. Mm, Q widget. Q widget, and now let me just run. 
my application. So that's not the problem. And VBox Q VBox layout. And let me just check this. It was. Oh, sorry. Uh, the problem is that uh, I have forgot to set the layout. So self dot set layout to the VBox layout, and uh, there is no need for changing this. So let me just first run uh, in a Q widget window. So now you can see we have uh, these programming languages in the list. So uh, there is no problem. You can change this to Q dialog and uh, Q dialog window. Uh, Q dialog and the result will be the same. Now you can see we have these uh, items in our list. Okay. Now uh, also you can use signals uh, with uh, list widget. Uh, so we have uh, clicked, uh, for example, item clicked signal. Uh, let me just show you in here. First, let me create a label. So cell dot label Q label and cell dot label uh, dot set phone to dot Q font some serif and the font size fifteen. Okay. Okay, now let me add this to my VBox layout. So VBox dot add a widget, self dot label, and now we are going to create our slot. So diff list view clicked, and first let me uh, get the current item from the list. So self dot list dot current uh, item and now uh, I want to uh, set this to my label so cell dot label dot set text uh, to the uh, item uh, to the item dot uh, uh, text because I want the text of the item so uh, also uh, you need to convert this to string because it is uh, uh, integer. So let me just convert this to string. Type cast this. And now we have created our slot. And now time to connect this with our clicked signal. So in here, self dot list dot clicked. dot connect solo dot list view clicked okay now let me just run my application uh, if I click on Python you can see I have Python Java C++ C sharp Ruby Kotlin okay so like this you can create a simple example of a list widget in the next uh, video uh, we are going to make a little complex uh, example of list widget.